the difference between the making of serpentine versus nephrite. What a great geology lesson of the day. So turning rocks into jade is kind of like baking a cake, just with millions of years, heat, and a little bit of geological magic. First you have to start with the base ingredients. Serpentine, trinolite, actinolite, chlorite, all of the minerals found deep within the earth. Then you add the secret ingredient, calcium rich fluids. These seep through the cracks in the bedrock with heat and pressure and they trigger the transformation into jade. As the minerals react, they trigger a recrystallization from the other minerals into nephrite jade, which is incredibly tough, dense, fibrous, and perfect for carving and very resistant to breaking. Nephrite jade is one of the toughest natural materials made by mother nature. But what happens if the fluids don't have enough calcium? Well, the reaction stalls and a mineral we call gem serpentine. It's a serpentine that's undergone the reaction, but not quite perfect. It's almost as hard and dense and beautiful as jade. It just lacks that last little bit of toughness that creates the special edge on jade, making it such a prized gemstone. So whether it's jade or gem serpentine, the earth has a way of baking its own cakes into such a beautiful gemstone. And that would be today's geology lesson of the day. And this Fraser River is in British Columbia, Canada. So the gem serpentine isn't the only thing around here half-baked.